Oh, oh, hello. Hi. Uh, I mean, you tricked me, uh, but but here you are. I'm not really drinking, as you can see, but I am getting ready for my Passover Seder. I am the chief cook and bottle washer at my home, and every year I prepare a Seder. This year, 44 people, not our biggest, but not our smallest either. So here I am. I work at the temple. There's lots of room, lots of space to spread out. If you look here, I, I just have brought tons of stuff from home and various drop-offs of Wegmans products and it's complete madness, but that's part of the Passover preparation. But aside from the preparation and the cleaning up, you know the truth is I love Passover. I love the sitting together with family and friends, with strangers who come to our table all to celebrate this extraordinarily important holiday. A holiday that marks our freedom and our sense of the the absolutely necessary process of realizing that liberation is not just for us one time, but for all peoples. And to go to that refrain in the song that we sing here, that Solomon Burke sang so many years ago, the punchline of which is, until everyone is free, none of us are free. And that is not just rhetoric, that's the real truth. And so when we think about that at our table, we hope you'll think about that as you enjoy, whether it's a full-blown Seder, whether it's just a few people gathered around eating some matzah and doing the four questions. Enjoy it, celebrate it, but don't forget to talk about the things that matter most, our freedom and freedom for all. I wish you a zisen Pesach, a sweet Passover. And uh, if you have any good recipes, send them along and we'll, we'll use them next year. Enjoy Chag Sameach.